it's kind of late i know so it's kind of dark i know so the video is kind of dark so i've been thinking that i want to tell you this and the reason i want to tell you this is because you have young daughters and i think they should know this as a matter of fact i think all young women should know this but you'll see that it's kind of delicate and all young women are not going to be able to process this okay so check it out you know how we get yeast infections okay and the reason we think we get yeast infections is because um antibiotics cause me to have yeast infections absolutely every time a dentist gave me antibiotics I insisted that he give me a prescription for uh, monostat, you know, yeast infection medicine. And they did, and I always developed a yeast infection, da 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 However, in my t young 20s, my senior year in college, my brother told me that yeast infections are sexually transmitted diseases. All right, now here's the part where you have to be prepared. Um, my brother is a doctor, so I listened to him. And here's the deal. Yeast infections are not only sexually transmitted. However, they are sexually transmitted. So if I had a yeast infection and I had had uh, antibiotics, then chances are great my yeast infection was developed because I had antibiotics. However, if I got a yeast infection and I had taken no antibiotics, that yeast infection was probably sexually transmitted if I was sexually active. Now, when my baby got a yeast infection and she was nine months old, duh, that was not sexually transmitted. That was a yeast infection based on her pH and based on the fact that I had her in a swimming class and based on the fact that she wore pampers. Okay, so yeast infections are not only sexually transmitted. However, if you are sexually active and you have no other reason for a yeast infection and you get a yeast infection, that yeast infection is sexually transmitted. Now, here's the deal. Men get the same yeast um, imbalance that women do. There are just no signs. There is no itching. There is no discharge. Case of raw, they just keep going. And it is trapped under their foreskin. Okay, big deal. So, if I got a yeast infection, and I know I knew I got it from um, an antibiotic, and I got the monostat to take care of my yeast infection, I asked my brother, well, what am I supposed to do about the guy that I am having sex with? He said, medicate him. What the fuck does that mean? He said, you use the monostat, right? You fuck the guy, right? Put the monostat on when you have sex with the guy. That way he penetrates and he is medicated. Bam. All right. So, okay, put that on a shelf. That is good information. I have experienced that and it has been good information. On the other hand, if, if, if I brought this up to another doctor, they act like I'm crazy. That's because a lot of reasons, but they cannot say to the public, yeast infections are sexually transmitted diseases. And I guess that's because